Solomon's Wisdom and Judgment, from the first book of Kings, chapter 3, verses 6 through 28. Later, two women who were prostitutes came to the king and stood before him. The one woman said, Please, my lord, this woman and I live in the same house, and I gave birth while she was in the house. Then on the third day after I gave birth, this woman also gave birth. We were together. There was no one else with us in the house. Only the two of us were in the house. Then this woman's son died in the night, because she lay on him. She got up in the middle of the night, and took my son from beside me while your servant slept. She laid him at her breast, and laid her dead son at my breast. When I rose in the morning to nurse my son, I saw that he was dead. But when I looked at him closely in the morning, clearly it was not the son I had borne. But the other woman said, No, the living son is mine, and the dead son is yours. The first said, No, the dead son is yours, and the living son is mine. So they argued before the king. Then the king said, The one says, This is my son that is alive, and your son is dead. While the other says, Not so, your son is dead, and my son is the living one. So the king said, Bring me a sword. And they brought a sword before the king. The king said, Divide the living boy in two, then give half to the one, and the half to the other. But the woman whose son was alive said to the king, Because compassion of her son burned within her, Please, my lord, give the living boy certainly. Do not kill him. The other said, It shall be neither mine nor yours. Divide it. The king responded, Give the first woman the living boy. Do not kill him. She is his mother. All Israel heard of the judgment that the king had rendered, and they stood in awe of the king, because they perceived that the wisdom of God was in him to execute justice.